kids, we already know habitat is an area where any organism lives and it can find its food, water, shelter, and protection. Population of that organism can grow in its habitat. There are many different types of organisms that can live in the same habitat. And populations of different types of organisms eat different food. And there is a flow of energy in a habitat. Let's see how. First of all, let's see what are producers, consumers, and decomposers in a habitat. Producers. Plants get energy from sun to carry on the process of photosynthesis and produce food and grow. So plants are the only living things that produce food. Rest all living things consume food. So plants are called producers. There are also some other organisms that produce food other than plants. Let's have a look at a few examples. Euglena and cyanobacteria are examples of microorganisms that can produce food through photosynthesis, and they are not plants. They are mainly found in pond water. Now let's see what are consumers. All parts of plants are used as a source of energy by herbivore animals, as herbivore animals eat plants as their food. So herbivores are consumers. And these herbivore animals are eaten by carnivores. So carnivores eat other animals as their food. So carnivores are also consumers. Omnivore animals eat both plants as well as flesh of other animals. So omnivores are also consumers. So, we learned that plants are the only living things that are producers that produce food. Rest all, the living things consume food. So they are called consumers. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye!